Well, hello and welcome to Glenzie B TV for Friday, the show that puts Glenzie B up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, and the world, stupid tripod, to New Zealand. <laughs> Sorry, world, I just tipped you over there. I've splayed my legs a little wider now. That's better, isn't it? Is it? Let's straight, straighten ourselves up. All right. Let's go. Um, so, it's it's fun, isn't it, this game? This uh, A different rumour every day on exactly what happened to poor old Prince. So yesterday it was AIDS. Today, um, dr prescription drugs, possibly. Um, I wonder what it will be tomorrow. Maybe that he's not dead at all. Maybe we'll get a whole Elvis scenario. People will start seeing him in supermarkets. Um, so that's good. I, I don't think we need more than one rumour a day. I think one's about right to create your your media frenzy. So, uh, yep. Yeah, so, so, Mr. Lombardi, you want to come to New Zealand? You're welcome. Uh, don't worry, we don't have a wall around us here. Uh, so, yeah, you're always, always welcome. I, I know it's a long commute from Mexico, but it's worth it. It's pretty cool here. You might even meet me! Now, speaking of geography, it's time to learn geography through current events. Yes, hashtag learn geography through... Am I putting too many characters into my hashtags? Possibly. It's time today to learn about this place. I call it this place. And you might be able to ha help me, uh, Jean, uh, from Mexico. Because this place is in Venezuela, which is closer to you than it is to me. Uh, Mara Chaibo? I really should have listened to somebody talking about this. Uh, it's the second largest city in Venezuela. Venezuela in the news, of course, because they've run out of energy. I know exactly how they feel. Got a slight chest cold at the moment, and I have run out of energy also. Anyway... Uh, so, there's... What, John, you can't just keep interrupting the show to ask questions like, what is the largest city in New Zealand? Auckland is the largest city in New Zealand, but don't be confused because it's not the capital. I know, it's... It's strange. Uh, Mordor isn't an actual city here at all. That's it's something else that you need to know. Anyway, so let's go back to Marachabo. It's, the, it's, the, it's Venezuela's uh, second largest city... Uh, and they tried to uh, found it a few times in 1529. Uh, Captain Ambrosio Elfinger, what a cool name, uh, tried to, but obviously didn't. And then uh, then uh, 40 years later, in 1569, Captain Alonso Pachico, Pachico? I don't know who any of these captains are. No wonder their cities didn't take off. And then finally, in 1574, uh, Nueva Zamora de la Laguna de Marachiabo was founded. That's a long name for a city by Captain Pedro Maldonado. I'm sorry I'm pronouncing all those things incorrectly, but I just wanted to get across that there's a complicated beginning for Marichabo, which is in the news today. Now, until petroleum was discovered in 1917, the, the city was a small coffee port. Now, I was unclear whether this meant uh, it was a good place to go to get a small coffee, or whether the port itself was small. It didn't really elaborate here. On This is from the Britannic, Britannica Encyclopedia. Uh, but apart from petrochemicals and construction, they're also into food, who isn't, soaps, woven goods, beverages, and rope. I don't know what woven goods are. Is that macrame chairs? That sort of thing? I don't know. There's, there's about two million people living there. So it's a real place. You know, thought you might like to... That, that's that's how we learned about geography through current events today. Goodness me, is that the time we really need to keep things moving? So I can tell you that that just about wraps it up for dogs because it turns out that dogs don't like to be hugged. Uh, yeah, a, a psychologist uh, in Psychology Today shows that new data says hugging your dog raises its stress and anxiety levels. So, yeah. Who would waste their time with a dog, basically? what that's about oh come on there aren't really dog people they're just people who can't quite get around to having children so they have dogs instead 
Isn't that right? Because cats can look after themselves and wash themselves and don't smell like shit all the time. Like children. I mean dogs. Uh, finally, challenging role uh, for Julia Macchio, Ralph's daughter. Ralph Macchio, the karate kid. His daughter uh, is in a local uh, presentation of Flashdance the Musical. And she has to do that every night. It's an iconic scene, of course. The bucket of water being tipped over the flash dancer. That must suck, knowing that that's coming up every night. That, that's a hard, it's a hard role, that, isn't it? Knowing that's... Do, they, do you think they warm it up? Um, a, a colleague of mine, and I must point out this is a female colleague of mine, suggested that they probably don't warm it up. Because they want a little bit of nip action there. Have I gone too far? I mean, I know it's Friday and you can you can have it a bit loose. But talking about Ralph Marchio's daughter's nips, that's going... I, I think maybe we shouldn't have done that. I am Glenn ZB. That has been Glenn ZB TV for Friday. Thank you so much for having me up your periscope. I'll try and clean up my act for Monday and we'll see you then. See you, Mexico.